In today's English lesson, you will learn nine English idioms that use the word apple. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English using real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will help you learn nine English idioms that use the word apple. Number one, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. This means that if you eat healthy foods, you won't get sick and won't need to see a doctor. Of course, you ha if you have a doctor that you really think is nice looking or something, you might want to see them and you wouldn't want to keep them away, <laughs> but you won't want to get sick either. Number two, a bad apple. This means that someone is bad or misbehaves in some way, like they're dishonest or very unpleasant, have a bad influence on people around them. Like someone might say, their neighbor's kid is a bad apple. Number three, this one is very similar. It takes one bad apple to spoil the whole barrel. Literally, it means if you have one apple that is rotten, it could cause the other apples in the same barrel or other container to rot faster. But as an idiom, it means that it only takes one bad thing in a group of things to make everything bad. For example, maybe there is a restaurant you like, but one time when you go there, the waitress is really rude. Then it just ruins the whole place for you and you don't want to go there again. Number four, apples and oranges. Uh, these are two very different fruits. If people are talking about two things that are very different from each other and try to compare them and say that one is better than the other, someone might say apples and oranges. What they are saying is that the two things are so different from each other that you really can't compare the two with each other. For example, what do you think is more interesting, electric cars or rockets? You really can't compare them because they are so different from each other. Number five, an apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Apples are heavy, and when they fall off of a tree, they just fall straight down, not too far from the tree they grew on. But as an idiom, it means that kids are usually a lot like their parents. For example, if someone's father has done a lot of bad, illegal things and has a son that starts to behave in the same way, a person might say, well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Number six, apple of my eye. This refers to someone you really love or care about. A sample sentence might be, his daughter is the apple of his eye. Number seven, as American as apple pie. This means that something is very common in this country or thought of as a good example or stereotype of American life. Interesting though, the second best apple pie I've ever had was in China. In Guangzhou there is a restaurant, or at least there was, a restaurant called Lucy's and they had some homemade apple pie that was so good. Of course, my mom's homemade apple pie is better. Number eight, the Big Apple. New York City is sometimes called the Big Apple. It's the nickname for the city. Number nine, how about them apples? This is a way of asking someone what they think about something. It is not correct grammar. And about is short for about. Usually it's used when someone is asking someone else about something they think is good or they are proud of. Like if you just did really well on something you just say, or you have something that's done that's really good, you might say, how about them apples? That's all for today's lesson, but before you go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. In a few seconds, you will see a link where you can sign up to join my email group if you want to do that. And if you have the time, you can also watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. That's all for today's lesson. Um, that's all for today's lesson. If you know, pleasant, they have a bad influence on the people around them, something like that. That's not really written out good. I didn't do a good job of preparing this.